Well, hi everybody, and welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to one of my favorite places. Yeah, hi everybody, I'm Goose. Welcome to my channel, Loose with Goose. Okay, so we're set up. Um, well, it's a basic setup. I'm going to have some lunch and uh, then get squared away and um, put my uh, tarp up. So um, we've got some cooking. Okay, so we've just had a brew up and uh, lunch today is uh, country style chicken uh, soup with some bread and, um, and a cuppa. All set up. The uh, grill and the uh, cooker is uh, set down in there and of course we've got that uh, little hack again, that foil as uh, acting as a uh, windbreak so uh, that's all good and everything else is just set up in there with the, uh, with the trike in behind the tent this time and uh, and the tent's all squared away as well so what I'm looking at here, or what you're looking at here, is the uh, the fridge, like we did out the last time. There's a nice spot under there, long grass. It's damp, and it's uh, it's nice and moist. And I've got the whole food bag sitting in there, and uh, reasonably well hidden, but nice and cool. So there it is, just down in there. So that'll keep nice and cool in there, and. Uh, We've still got nice fresh milk and fresh butter. Yeah, it's a great little campsite like this. Um, it's been a lot of time in this one before the other one was built. And, uh, I was actually camping up here for quite a while. Uh, we came up for a, quite a few days, a week, 10 days at a time, which was uh, great. And uh, I was actually here while they were building the other one. So it gives you an idea of where you can go and uh, a bit of the, um, the history of the place. There are a lot of kiwi up in here, and uh, the last thing we need, both as the area and um, as a nation, is to uh, to lose more of them. And this is all very um, sophisticated now with a set of steps. Uh, back when I first came here, you were slipping and sliding, and hoping you weren't going to actually end up in the creek itself. So, but it's just a lovely little stream, nice water. Well, let's get the water fetched and now we'll go for a bit of a wander back. And uh, although I've never been um, sick from uh, just drinking the water straight out of the streams here in New Zealand, especially the backcountry ones, um, I got to a stage now where I do uh, filter the water and oh my goodness. Blackberries for dinner. Okay, we'll go for a bit of a wander down to um, another part of the stream. Haven't taken any down there before, and uh, we'll get a little bit more water and have a bit of a look around. A few years ago, where all this uh, bracken is, there was a, um, a huge old man pine, and uh, he came down in a storm uh, a few years ago. But um, used to have a, a colony of uh, whitehead sparrows living in it and uh, there was some over the other way too, over the other camp um, where you go down by the helipad. pad but uh, they've all gone and um, I haven't seen one here for, for a good five years I suppose now that's uh, something I hadn't seen before let's have a look
Yeah, and I quite agree with that. Very pretty through here. This is where the choppers came through earlier. So I thought I'd show you my um, filtering setup. I've got a, uh, I think it's a five litre plastic container and uh, got a, uh, a tap on it. From there that just runs down a, a pipe into the, uh, into the filter and then from the filter into the uh, big container. Now today's verse comes from 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 5 and that says May the Lord bring you into an even deeper understanding of the love of God and of the patience that comes from Christ. So this is the start of the track, this is where we went down last night and got the water from just down here by the bridge. Now what we're looking at here used to be the old uh, helipad and uh, since they've shifted the, the pad over to the other side it hasn't taken uh, nature long to, uh, to reclaim its own. And all these beautiful hebes. We also had some fun down here with the uh, with the grandkids when they were quite small. We um, taught them how to play poo sticks. There's a little swing bridge down here. They dropped their um, sticks on one side and then rushed off to the other to watch them come through. It was great excitement for those guys. 
This is where it all took place. And here's the swing bridge. That willow's grown a lot down there now. It's really spread out. That was quite clear when I had the kids down, the grandkids down here, and uh, they threw their stick out into that side and then uh, watched it come out down through here. Great fun. Here's a turning point that a lot of people use and has been used a lot over the, over the years and you can see it worn in here and this is the uh, track up to the, um, the Kiwi Saddle Hut and where you go up to, uh, to climb the Kutapaponga Hill and straight ahead is the um, Cameron Hut by the river you can get it through up past the Kiwi Saddle Hut turn it off a spur and drop down into the river again um, we won't be going that way this time. We're going to uh, carry on down and uh, head for the river. So here we are, down to the river. There's been a few people through, but uh, not this morning. But uh, a lot of boot tracks here, but you'll often see deer sign through here. But a quick glimpse and a glance now, I can't uh, can't see any. So there you go, there's a bit of a walk down to uh, one of my happy places. In this whole area I've spent a lot of time tramping and camping. And uh, you can see the uh, river behind me. But if you're out this way, come up and camp a day or two. It's really worthwhile. Okay, so a um, bit of lunch, and uh, what I'm going to do is um, have some bannock and um, kippers. The kippers, I've got to get tinned ones, can't do much about it, but um, they're nice. And uh, the bannock, um, two sort of recipes I've found with this, but um, some people put butter or margarine in it, I don't, because it's not often that I, um, when I'm out camping that I carry that with me. So all we've got is flour, baking powder, salt, a bit of water, and um, make a nice dough, and then fry it. Uh, there's no exact measurements. Good old dollop of salt. And baking powder. That's about it. Mix that together. Just put in a bit of uh, a bit of water. And mix it into a, a bit of a dough.
Okay. I'll just flatten her out. That's pretty much it. Into the pansy goes. Okay, she is frying in the pan. Pretty good. And so while it's cooking, we'll open up the kippers. And uh, get them ready. They smell really good. Get the plate ready down there. Billy on, and that's it. And that is the lunch of champions. Looking forward to that. As you can see, it's nicely cooked through, beautifully crusted, nice and golden brown, and that's going to be delish. And then, with lunch over, unfortunately, it was time to pack down and uh, head back for home. Once again, another really great camp. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it. Enjoyed going back down to the river and seeing those um, places that uh, it's been a little while since I've been here and visited. And well, thanks for uh, coming with us on the trip. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to ride free. And of course, God bless.